what happens is that financial privilege, economic privilege, and ideological privilege are now things that have to be earned. You have to earn the American dream. You can't simply just come to America and experience the American dream. The only true lasting American value that's left, buying things, buying things. People spending money they don't have on things they don't need. Money they don't have on things they don't need so they can max out their credit cards and spend the rest of their lives paying 18% interest on something that costs 1250. And they didn't like it when they got it home anyway. Not too bright, folks. Because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. Is the American dream real? Is the American dream real? Is the American dream still real? So, the American dream. I think that it really depends on who you're talking to. I believe that it is. I kind of think about the American dream more in terms of capitalism, especially as I'm about to enter the workforce, and more in terms of like what the dream job is nowadays. Historically, the American dream emerged really predominantly for immigrants. Personally, I don't like to label an entire lifestyle on a nation on the country. I don't know if what came first. Was it this new capitalism dream or was it, you know, just the fact that people don't want to work nine to fives anymore? I'm not sure. And if you look on TikTok, so many people are talking about this, how they don't want nine to five jobs. They would rather work for themselves. Me too, including. I, I want to work for myself. And my personal version of an American dream would probably be different from yours or other people's. We were trying to create a culture of upward mobility and we were trying to encourage those people that were coming in to dream, to create, to explore, to navigate their own destiny in this new country. So I think that whatever your hopes and or dreams are and you succeeding in what you want in life could be considered an American dream, but I'm not sure I'd put American in it, I think I just call it a dream. However, statistics show otherwise. That basically the immigration population in terms of their ability to achieve the American dream has actually been lower than what has been promised historically and currently. However, it takes hard work. You must, must go to schooling after high school a trade school, business school, college, anything like that so that you'll get that better job with a better salary. So I think what this also shows and demonstrates is that the American dream is now really something for the 1%. And uh, in today's world, in 2021, I believe that it takes two incomes to make this happen as well. Unfortunately, what happens is that financial privilege economic privilege and ideological privilege are now things that have to be earned. You have to earn the American dream. You can't simply just come to America and experience the American dream. However, again, I do believe that it's still obtainable. Well, what that implies is that essentially when you're talking about whether the American dream is real, you're also implying its opposite. That the American dream is simply just a fantasy, a fable, a cultural myth that we've propagated to encourage people and to ultimately distract them from the reality that the American dream is and will always be something that is essentially distancing ourselves from one another, from the economy, and from ultimately being who we think we're meant to be. You know, it used to be, you know, when we talked about this in that American lit um, perspective, the American dream was a, a house with a white picket fence, two and a half kids, as they say, a golden retriever. And a lot of immigrants wanted that. They came to America for that type of lifestyle. But now I think of it as less of the picket fence and more of the new American dream, which is kind of centered a lot around fame. And so what ends up happening also is that it creates a hierarchy. And so when you create a hierarchy, then you essentially always will create someone in that hierarchy who is below someone who is on the top. So I think the American dream is not real. I think it's a fable and a cultural value that we must 
all work together to actually deconstruct and get rid of because happiness is more about choice and perspective than it is about the acquisition of certain things.